hi welcome to my channel takoyaki tarot um i'm gonna do a quick spread it's september 28th 11 p.m before i start i'm gonna start off with a prayer i pray to god and call upon archangel michael and any ancestors angels and spirits that love me unconditionally to continue to protect me and my family during this time please help us see things clearly and to help us remove the fog of illusion that has led us down a false path in the past. Amen. So, um, this is a general collective reading. Um, you gotta take this video with a grain of salt because not everything is set in stone. Things are constantly changing. And with tarot, time is fluid, so I can't predict how the cards are going to come out. Um, if you like this video and want to subscribe to my channel, uh, please do so. I would appreciate that. Um, and use your discernment, okay, use your intuition. If this resonates with you in any way, great. Um, and if it helps you, great. You know, I hope it does. Let me know. You know, comment down below or something like that or give it a thumbs up. Um, but if this does not resonate with you in any way, that is okay. Don't force yourself into the story. Don't make it yours, okay? However, if this does not resonate for you in particular, this may resonate for someone in your environment that you are close to. So yeah. Um, when is this one? Okay, so this is upside down. I'm gonna start off with the uh, um a couple cards from here from this deck start off the spread like that. Ooh, I just got a little dizzy. Um, I just saw growth and influence. You guys, the collective, you guys could be growing from some sort of influence that was maybe around you in your environment. You're growing from that. But also, some of you could be actual influencers, okay? You guys could actually be growing influencers. Um, like your business is growing, your channel is growing, your page is growing. Um, you know, take it, take that how it resonates. Your projects are growing. Wow. All right. The same car growth came out. We have growth, gifts, and insight. So this is, I feel like this is all straight the collective. Um, and then this card is a little bit of the collective and a little bit of the strangers. Um, by the way, I call people who are not the collective part of the collective who are people who are karmics people who still haven't found their purpose who still um are just negative and malicious downright evil i call them the strangers they are not of the light okay so collective i feel like this is all you all right um you guys are growing. And first of all, you have growth, gifts, insight, um, number 23, 21, 26, um, 5, 3, 8, 538. You guys are growing. Um, and people see that you're growing, okay? There might be people in the community that are talking about this growth of yours, okay? They might be saying negative things or just talking to talk or gossiping. But you don't really care because you're standing in your light. And literally this bird is shining. There's a, a light around the bird. You see the light? You guys are shining. You're standing in your light. At this point, you don't even care what they're saying. Not only that, but you're not just growing um, like in a mature way, like emotionally, mentally, right? Your gifts, your natural spiritual gifts that were given to you by God that you were born with it's like you tapped into them and they're growing 
your gifts are growing. I feel like, oh my god, yeah. Um, in particular, though, you have the gift of insight, and that's growing. You're, oh my god, beautiful. I feel like I resonate with this, but let me let me let me stop, right? Um, because you have insight. So you guys are growing in like almost every way, but in particular though, your spiritual grip, your spiritual gifts are growing. And to be even more specific with that, you're you you're you have the gift of insight, and I feel like it's also the gift of foresight. You have the gift of insight, foresight, and intuition. Um, but I feel like those gifts, your your gift of insight is growing. I mean like growing. Um, we have mischief and we have commitment on the bottom of the deck. Um, you guys are very committed to this. This is why your gifts are growing um, rapidly, rapidly. That's what I'm hearing, rapidly. But with mischief, um, you got people trying to like bother you. Um, they may be trying to attack you spiritually, but at this point, it's kind of like, bink, like a little flea, you just like, flick off, because it's like, it's nothing really serious. Maybe at one point it was, and it really got to you, but now because of how fast you're growing, and you're, you don't even care anymore, um, these, despite these people are still trying to cause mischief, alright, trying to bother you, you see them bothering the cat, pulling the cat's tail, um, you know, it's not really like a big issue anymore. I mean, they can try all they want, but they're not going to get far. Yeah, with this gift card, like I, like I, I listed off a couple gifts. You have multiple gifts. Okay, it's not just the gift of insight. It's the gift of insight, foresight, intuition, um, empathy, okay, because that is a gift. Um, Gift of love, one, two, yeah, love, um, knowledge. <laughs> On the top of the deck, we have curiosity. Yeah, um, this is going two ways. You guys are very curious, okay, um, but in a healthy way. They say, um, what's that thing? Sad, no, wait, um, curiosity killed the cat right? That saying doesn't end there. That's not the whole saying. It's um, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. All right. Whatever you guys are curious about, you're getting satisfaction because you not only do you are doing the work you guys are studying, but you also have a deep knowing of this stuff. All right. It's like being handed down to you and engraved inside of you by like the divine. Freedom right behind that. Okay, this new sense of growth, you know, and it's not even a sense because it's actually happening, okay? But this sense of growth is giving you a sense of freedom. You guys are free now, okay? Whoever you are collective, okay, you guys are free. Also, with this curiosity card, you have people, um, with the growth card, because I did say you have people gossiping and talking about you and the way you're moving now. They feel like you're moving funny or you may be cutting people off and not even saying anything to them. You just block or delete or whatever, right? People are seeing you grow and they're talking about it, okay? For whatever reason, they don't like it, they're gossiping, they're talking about it. Um, and yes, this curiosity card is you, but at the same time, these people are curious of what you're doing, like what your plans are. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know what your plans are, what your next move is. Um, there's one person in particular who's like invested in what you're doing and this one person, I don't know if they realize it or not, but there's people watching this person in particular. Okay. It could be the same bird, the main bird in the growth card that's talking all that shmayak. What's behind that card? Bond. That was bond. Um, for some of you, you guys could be in a partnership. Okay, that partnership, um... For some of you, that partnership is allowing you to do the growth that you need to do. And that could be one of the reasons why people are talking. They're curious as to how this partnership of yours is, like, 
they want to know if it's the partnership that's making you grow or if it's you that's doing it or something else that's doing it or something happened that made you grow they're very curious as to how this bond of yours um not only how this bond of yours is working but how this bond of yours is working while you're simultaneously doing your inner growth okay while your personal spiritual gifts are growing they want to know how the two coincide together and how they're working simultaneously um but the thing is they will never understand that's not for them to understand because if it was for them to understand god would give them that knowledge and they don't have that knowledge okay they're not privileged to that knowledge luck okay you guys are very lucky 28 number 28 could be significant or the number 10 people are wondering um how it is that you're these oh hold on okay i'm back um so yeah so people could think that they there are people that see you as very lucky okay they could feel like um you're just a lucky person that for some reason you don't have to work for a b or c but these people don't know the, all the trials and tribulations that you have gone to gone through to get to this point in your life now but irregardless they they see you as lucky okay um you're just like a very lucky person um i don't know wow i split the deck again in the same card luck yeah thank you okay yeah they see like it's like um the way they view you it's like they they feel like things just get handed to you you see how this um this fish that's illuminated is just going right into the crow's mouth yeah they just they there's people that feel like um things just get handed to you but like first of all that's not any of their business how you come across things in your life like how things are for you your your spiritual gifts are not their business the growth that you're doing is not their business your relationship is not their business so and not even just your spiritual gifts but like the gifts that you have that are physical okay your mental gifts your emotional gifts your spiritual your physical your material your abundance like it's not these people are trying to distract you by causing mischief in your life okay they're hoping that by doing things behind the scenes or spiritually attacking you or mentally attacking you or gossiping about you or talking about you they're hoping that all of this mischief that they're doing will somehow get to you and distract you from your goal from your purpose from your path but it's not because you don't even care about what they're doing okay they can try day and night okay some of these people they're breaking a sweat like they're breaking your back trying to throw you off course but, but it's not working because you don't care that's not your goal right now okay you're not focused on them and that shows a lot about their character because they're too focused gossiping about you and watching you and doing magic on you and you know doing all this stuff behind the scenes and meanwhile you're just elevating okay you're growing these people they're stuck it's not your problem okay no one told them to be up your ass and being nosy and watching everything you do Let's see. I'm gonna pull a couple of these and then a couple of my white deck and then I'm gonna close it off. I don't think I'm gonna do tarot for this one.
Yeah, didn't I say there's a particular person that there's like a main person amongst these people that are like watching you and curious about you and gossiping about you? There's one person in particular. There's a main female. She's watching you. She's expecting to get some sort of message about you. Like she's curious about you. She's she's the bird that's curious about you and she doesn't know that there are other people watching her while she's watching you. Um, I feel like this is like from my last video. There's a person who's like sending people out in the community to get information on you. Like, oh, what's the collective doing? What are they doing? What do they post about? Did you see the post about? What was your last post about? Did you see it? What are they up to? You know, they're just curious. Like, they want to know everything about you. There's a main female that's, like, very nosy about your life. She wants to know every single thing that's going on. Like, she's too focused on you. She's not realizing that her life is crumbling. And that's not your problem. You didn't tell her, oh, hey, why don't you be up my ass today? <laughs> You didn't say that to her at all. But she took it upon herself to do that. If this is somebody in the community, there's a community card, reverse. The unexpected income card, reverse. The pathway card, reverse. Expectation card, reverse. This is somebody that is in the community that you know, um, friend, family, coworker, friend, ex-friend, okay? They were expecting for your income to like decrease, but now their income, they're having money problems, okay? This main female, she is up your ass. She's so nosy. She doesn't realize that the community is turning their back on her. Um, her finances are depleting. Like, she, the pathway reverse. Okay, she doesn't realize that by continuing this pathway, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse for her. For some of you, this is a masculine. Okay? But um, for the majority, this is a main female. This could be um a co-worker a mother a friend uh, a sister um just you know you gotta put this person where she fits in your story you know for some of you this is this could be somebody that you passed a couple times in the community maybe they work at a cafe that you constantly go to okay um there's just a lot of envy coming from this person a lot of hate sudden wealth in reverse Okay, she was expecting some sort of money to come in, like some sort of sudden wealth for her. It's not coming in. I don't know what's going on with this chick, but she's like very, she's delusional. That's why. Okay, yeah, thanks. She's very delusional. Um, I don't know. Something is off with this person. Uh, I don't know, they're immature. Like, these, no cards have come out yet for this person, the stranger. But you have, you know, you have collective, you guys are growing. Your gifts are growing. Okay, you have the gift of insight. That's growing. Like, everything you're doing, you're just growing. You're elevating. And this person, like, she's stuck in the background. She can't do anything. She wanted you to be mentally stuck, but now she's mentally stuck. Main female came out again. False person. And distant horizon. I feel like something's going to happen very soon. You guys are going to find out about this false person. This main female is a false person. She's the kind of person that likes to wear masks. Okay, pretend that she's um, someone else or like she's doing something else. Okay, she could be the kind of person that'd be like, you know, I'm just a very nice person, you know. But behind the scenes, she's, like, really nasty. She's got a nasty attitude. Okay, she'd be talking about people. Okay, this could be the kind of person that would be like, I would never steal. And then come to find out, you got $500 missing because so-and-so stole it, right? Something's going to happen. Um, first of all, this person is being judged, okay? Um, by the divine, by the community, by people she knows. She's being judged. Okay, um, this is happening like soon, like now. Um, for some of you, this main female that is a false person, she could be having legal issues. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to have to make this quick.
Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have Courthouse and Despair. Yeah, this main female is definitely dealing with some sort of legal issues. Um, that is either the reason why she's in despair or and, or this is going to leave her in despair. It could be there could be something about some documents involved too because this the the guy in this picture he's holding a couple documents in his hand. Hmm. <sighs> On the top of the deck, we have wealthy man and occupation. There's a wealthy man who's working very hard. He, you know, got his money. He's working hard. Um, he's working hard towards his great fortune. So this is a good guy. He's working hard towards his change, great fortune. But there's a thief around him that wants to take that from him. Behind despair on the bottom of the deck, we have main male and reverse and marriage. There is a main female who is a false person and a main male in reverse that has something to do with a marriage. Okay, this could be for some of you, this could be your, um, this could be an ex-husband, an ex-partner, or a friend of yours, or a father figure, or a brother, or a cousin. There's a male in reverse that has bad intentions about either two people that are in a marriage or one person that's in a marriage okay um the main female that's dealing with um, legal issues she could be that could be a whole separate story that has um you know with the main male in reverse that's concerned about this marriage first of all they're not concerned they don't care about this marriage they're cared about somebody in particular in that marriage or a union or a partnership like they want to sabotage something within that marriage I'm gonna do a couple of these and then I'm gonna close it it's 11:45. oh I think I just saw what was that letter the letter W I'll take it. Two, three, four. I'm gonna get two more. If not, I'm just gonna call it. Yeah, I'm gonna get two more and then I'll call it. I think that might be it. Yeah, yeah that letter's worked out. One 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 intuition. Trust your gut and listen to your heart. That's you, collective. You guys are a star child. <laughs> they are being haunted. Yeah, whatever. Who? Whatever this mean female was doing behind the scenes. Um, she's being haunted by her own actions. Okay. Like um, she's guilty, and it's not because she's whatever she's doing isn't working anymore. She's no. Um, she's guilty. Yeah, that's exactly it. She's guilty because whatever she's doing isn't working anymore. Not that, not because she's getting caught or because she's being judged or anything. 
it's because what she's been doing isn't working anymore or her little attacks or her efforts it's not working anymore that's why she feels guilty because she feels like she failed in her mission to destroy you the collective that's the only reason that she feels guilty the letter l the letter w okay this could be initials first or last name lw oh i feel like this says law she did something that has to do with the law i think she broke some sort of law this could be um spiritual laws that she broke or she actually broke a law like a law law that's why she's having legal issues um four 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 protection the universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you yeah so collective you literally don't have anything to worry about whatever she was doing at this point it's just considered like pointless mischief because it's, it's not even affecting you so um yeah so that's your reading thank you for watching and have a good night bye